Is this a Code Vein video in 2020? People still play this game? People still upload it? Eh, not really, but we're still here, just nerding out, so why not? It turns out that you're not alone, because there are other people still nerding out over Code Vein, so let's keep it at that. So as for this nice little video, it's going to be a Dark Mage build video. I know, you, you've seen plenty of them, but this is just my take and what I like to use for just main game and co-oping. So whether you choose to use it entirely or call, you do, you don't, it's whatever. Let's go and see what we're doing with here. So let's keep this straightforward. I'm going to the build. We're using the Ymir blood code you get from the Frozen Empress DLC. We are also using the Machete Devour. Plus 10 you get from the Rage of Frozen Souls. Lightning Brune Active Devour, which you get from the Lord of Thunder DLC, beating him with a Halberd. Suicide Spur Fortification plus 10, which you get from the Crown of Sand. Next we jump into the passives. We got ourselves Improved Regeneration, although it's entirely optional. You can use other focus-based passives or whatever floats your boat. I use Improved Regeneration because one, it's nice to have a little bit extra health when you use Regeneration. And in co-op, you have half your heals, so if I can get a little extra health out of my heals when I'm in co-op, that's more than fair. Then we got Swift Destruction, because I have normal mobility, so that's a free 10% damage to my spells and my weapons, so free damage is free damage with that. Strength and Willpower. Dexterity and Willpower, just stacking on the Willpower as we go. Now let's hop into the spells here. We got Horfrost Stream, because who doesn't use Horfrost Stream? If you're a Dark Mage, it's really here who doesn't use it. Homing Hellfire, because it's just free damage, really. It follows your target. Who doesn't love it? Blast Bolt, because although Firestorm is a complete hunk of crap, Blast Bolt actually has some really good damage, surprisingly. It's a, it has an alright charge rate, and it has a really good projectile speed and good damage, so that's why I use it. And Sanguine Roar, just to have a decent speed roar spell. Of course, you can swap this out for whatever you like. So, small little pattern here. If you notice, I use Ice, Fire, Electricity, and Blood Damage. Why? Because I like to keep one of every element just to have an answer to every problem. However, if it's a, if you're obviously in an Ice place, you're going to use Fire. You know, it's common sense there. But this is just an example of how I keep every element slotted just to be a little more versatile. Then the bottom abilities here are pretty straightforward as well. Cognitive Zeal to increase mind and willpower. We're just there for the willpower. Blood Sucking Blades for the Drain Rating because you can't cast spells without your Icor, so do whatever you can to get more. Gift Prowess for Gift Speed because Dark Spells are notably pretty slow, so if you can cast it off a little faster and not get slapped in the process, that's pretty nice. And Restorative Offering. Revive your buddy. Just use it. Be the cool guy who keeps this. This build has a pretty straightforward playstyle. Get yourself the buff for your mind and willpower. Get yourself the blood sucking blades, you know, for Icor. You kind of need that. And just do what you do best cast things, use your speedier spells when you need them. And obviously, when something's bigger, you can use Homing Hellfire or Horfrost Stream. But these are pretty high in the Icor cost department, so. Be a little, a little careful with them. You can tack on the gift speed as well, should you feel as if you need it, just for the extra zoom. But oh look, you're out of Icor. That's how you pull out the Chad of Drain Rating. Go ahead and give that a check. 2.27. Hit it with an alternate attack, or maybe even just a normal attack. Or maybe even a running attack. You get your Icor back incredibly fast. So you can just get it back and be back to casting in no time. Spam all your spells. Spam everything. And once you're done spamming, oh, just poke, poke, poke. Oh, look. Straightforward, simple playstyle. And this is just the main hand weapon, of course. Just does all right damage. So that's a pretty all right drain rating too, so. It's good to keep, of course, for whatever you want to use as your main hand weapon. Your call, but I just like the machete. It's stylish, so why not? 
So with all that being said and done, I do hope you enjoyed the little brief video. I might be uploading some more Code Vein in the future, we'll just see how things go. I do appreciate you stopping by and taking a look at what I'm uploading. Hopefully you'll find the build useful. Hopefully it served you well in finding your perfect Dark Mage build, or maybe you'll just keep your own. It's your choice. Anyways, I'm Sui, and this has been another Code Vein video. Thanks for stopping by and watching, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.